We're going to play Ben Weeble's Artie Arcade. I've played around with it for about 30 minutes to kind of get a little bit of an idea of what's going on, because there's a lot going on. All right. Let's do this. Uh, the screenshots and stuff appealed to me because it looked like an uh, it looked like a strange think game with uh, explicit characters, you know, like really distinct characters and in, in world rather than procedurally generated ones. And I kind of wanted to see what that would be like, especially how they're. I was thinking they'd like add a lot of narrative to the actual art tools and stuff, like maybe you earn art tools by finding them in trees or whatever. Um, not not as much as I was hoping for, like, some of this stuff is clickable, you know, which is cool. But, um, I would, I was kind of hoping that it would be, uh, more clickable, so like, you know, I was thinking like, you know, all of this kind of would be dynamic. But I'm not trying to talk about what the game is not. I'm just trying to talk about you know the context of how I'm coming into this. So, um, so uh, it looks so you can go into in pretty much any part of this program you can go into a canvas tool and just start working. Some pretty cool brushes, right? And then um, this is the squirrel tail. So I'm using a squirrel's tail. He seems happy about it though. So now, th this is how you. This is how the elephants do. Okay, you get the idea. And then, now see, one of the things that that appeals to me about this idea. Oh, okay, I've only played for about thirty minutes, but it feels like there's something, there's some potential here, and it's really hard for me not to talk about the ideas that it evokes of further things that they could do. So, they got this cauldron, and in the cauldron, you can choose an effect, okay? And then they go up to the activity board. Now, as far as I can tell, only one effect can be on the activity board, but what I was thinking this would do would be like, you pick some mushrooms and put them in the cauldron, you take this ant guy and put him in the cauldron, his top hat, you know, and then that mixes to create an effect, right? But it doesn't seem to be the case. Seems like um, this is basically just a, a pop-up menu, and picking one effect replaces the last. Um, is what it is. Ooh, it's pretty. Ooh, I like watching that. Let's see, can I make that brush bigger? That just changes what brush it is. I want to go back to that. What? I don't even know what it was. Was it was this one? I think. Ooh. If I hit red, will it do red? No. Okay. So it is a lot like I, I can't. What is that strange thing game? Where it's just purely trying out different brushes. Not the not Joy Exhibition. That's what this reminds me of. It's kinda enjoyable. Okay. And then I can put it on t-shirts and stuff, but I don't have a printer. Like I can make a let's see what's this? I can make a party kit, right? And it doesn't erase my thing. It just says it just puts my thing on in in a particular format with with Ben Weevil. I'm assuming the red guy's Ben Weevil. So I can type something. Assume it's Ben Weevil. Okay, I could get good at this. Uh, yep. So, I don't even know what this is, but hypothetically I can print this out, you know. I can say, 
put this into a PDF. Uh, I, the cartoon characters mixing with my art, that's something I have a lot of difficulty with, but I should get around. You know, I can make a t-shirt, right, which looks very much like the canvas, but assumably when I tell it to print, it'll be in a different format. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I just went into this area the other the last time and it told me that I could upload my own photos. So I thought that that would be an interesting thing to do. Stamp images select. Okay, so I can stamp my photo on here. I'm going to go ahead and start with this photo. Okay. And then I stamp it. Okay, so now and now I have a photo I can work with. Let's see. No like cropping or nothing. I don't really expect that to be the case, you know. But I guess part of the weirdness of, about this entire thing to me is that it feels like it's trying to make things simpler, but it ends up making them far more complex. <laughs> but I really like the idea of having a, a, a certain amount of tools that... um. You can play with, you know, manifestation through limitation. Let's see, let's paint like the elephant do. I like the music too. It, it's kind of weird that art programs don't have music by default. Now that I think about it. I mean, you know, you would be able to turn it off, but it's definitely, sometimes you forget to turn it on, you know? I'm starting to get into it. Okay. Then let's put, can we put words on it? Do we want to put words on it? What's that mean? Turn this into a greeting card. With Ben Weevil. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, and then I can type down here. Happy, what's today's date? Happy January 12th, 2016. Yeah, let's make that bigger, I guess. Make that bigger. And there's all sorts of fonts. Okay. Let's go ahead and save that. Put that up. Okay. And we'll put that shit on Twitter. 